What's up, internet? This week I am in Bristol for the Upfest. This is the biggest street art festival in Europe, and for some reason, I'm here. I'm here with Tapeover. They've been doing this, I guess, for like four years already, being invited over and over and over again. And they're happy with my work, so here I am. Biggest street art festival in Europe, and I am just humbled and excited to be a part of it. For our piece at the Upfest, they found this amazing venue for us. This is an abandoned bank. guess they run out of money. Ah. <laughs> the best part of being in a street art festival in comparison to like a traditional gig is that this time I can do whatever the fuck I want. So, total freedom. No pressure at all. Mm. So the main idea, I had this super cool concept. I had the idea fresh in my head. I was like, Stefan, let's make this fast, easy and cool. So I prepared a lot of amazing plots. I was gonna do some pineapples, 80 style, Memphis design kind of thing. Beautiful, spent eight hours in the studio cutting them with the robots and all good, all fantastic up until what? KLM lost their luggage. Not all of them, three out of five arrived. The problem is the one that had all my materials and my pre-cut plots is nowhere to be found. So I'm gonna have to improvise. You know, scratching the original idea and jumping into something new is, I must admit, frustrating. But uh, I guess it's also like an interesting exercise, you know, to deal with the unexpected and frustrations and, you know, manage your expectations and something like this. So um, I'm just gonna do the best I can. So for this project, I get these three windows. They're pretty big, they're on the main street, amazing. But uh, we're gonna have to figure out something to do. So I'm gonna be working with the leftover materials that actually made its way from Berlin to Bristol. And I'm gonna have to do the best I can with this. I started off by doing this crazy pattern. I honestly had no idea where I was going with this. I was just like, Stefan, just start doing it. The idea will come at some point, but you need to start. So I started off by doing these patterns. I just put tape, whatever I thought that it could go. I ended up creating this 45 degree geometric pattern. And that's, you know, as far as the, the first day got me.
Uh, luckily on the second day, divine inspiration came on to me and I decided to take advantage of the sponsor of the festival itself, uh, Posca, the markers, which is amazing because I love these markers and they're, they're not on the cheap side. So I called the, the organization of the festival and they just gave me this huge bag of Poscas and kind of said like, yo, go have fun. And I did. Uh, so I decided to mix a little bit what I've been doing with my own personal work and the stuff that I've been creating on NFTs, which are these re-editions of, of Roman and Greek busts, you know, these traditional stuff that you usually see in a museum, but like a pop reinterpretation of them. So I started off by doing um, some sketches, you know, so start with the digital one. And then it was a question of how to transfer them into these huge windows. Yeah, I could free ball it, obviously, but uh, I'm not very good at that. And, and I just felt that they were gonna look like shit. So I actually were, thought about, you know, using a projector to project them onto the walls, but we are in the midst of the fantastic British summer, which is not very warm, but it stays bright until pretty late. So what I did is I worked until I was tired enough and went uh, to the Airbnb, took a fabulous nap, it was a very good nap, and came back around 10 o'clock to, to take advantage of the darkness. So I could actually project the, the pieces on the wall and have a, a, you know, a basic reference of what the fuck I was doing. Once I had uh, you know, these, these sketches done, I basically went back to home and sleep and uh, came back the next day to, to actually get the work done. Once I actually knew what I was doing, it, it actually went pretty smoothly. And uh, the final day was basically just painting and, and coloring these pieces, you know, kind of like a kid's coloring book. It was amazing, it was so fantastic. Uh, my girlfriend came from Berlin to help me out. Actually, she came to check out Bristol, but since she was in town, you know, I was like, you gotta earn your trip. So she actually helped me a bit and thank you. <laughs> and we were able to finish off ahead of schedule. So that means, you know, the rest of the trip in Bristol is, uh, you know, the tradition UK, you know, uh, pubs. So. So yeah, that's basically what I was doing here uh, in Bristol. It's, it's a fantastic city. It's like so lively, so much fun. And the festival is just massive. Over the next weekend, there's gonna be 400 artists painting murals all across town. And over the last weeks, there's been artists from all over the world flying here and doing their own artwork. And I must say, it's, it's just like beautiful to walk around town and you can see artists painting in different scaffoldings, like a plethora of styles and techniques. Again, I want to first off thank um, Tapeover for, for trusting me. It's like, you know, I don't know why, but they do. So thank you. Uh, Upfest for the opportunity and the sponsors of this project, MacTag Europe and Posca. MacTag provided all the material that I used on the tapes, you know, inclusive the ones that are lost in the limbo of the Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. So if you're hearing this, Kelly M, bring me my fucking luggage back. Uh, and Posca, you know, surprise sponsor that, you know, helped me did, do this, you know, the, these improvisations. So I guess, the main lesson we can learn here is if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. I'll see you guys next time and uh, I don't know, like and subscribe or whatever, I don't care. <laughs>